Hi everybody, here's another segment on direct rebuild. This is the 2010 Suburban. Um, you can see I got it pretty well stripped down. <laughs> I uh, had to, I thought better of it. I, I really needed to replace the door on this thing because you can tell this one's really screwed up. And I thought we might be able to do something with it. Anyway, um, not so. I, I got a nice door. It wasn't the right color, of course. But I got a nice door for 450 bucks. And um, I stripped it all down. Took all the weather strippings off of it. Mirror was already gone on it. Um, and sanded everything. Wiped everything down with degreaser, deglosser, everything, and uh, primed everything where all the stuff's going to go back in. Um, painted a black, and basically on the outside, I'm just doing where the trim goes. Body shop guy said, you know, if he can do that, get it ready, and uh, he'll take care of the rest. Of course, I did right here, too, where the handle goes back in, and... Um, all on the inside too, all around the jam itself. This has all been painted black on the new door. Maybe I'll, hopefully I can show you uh, before I get ready to hang it. But um, not too bad to take off really. Take all the guns out. I took, of course took all the glass and everything, or the glass and everything out of it. You got these two pigtails that go through the door and through the jam. And you got do have to take, let's see if we can do this. You gotta take this side cover off. Uh, the bigger end goes in here. It's got knife latch on it. And then there's a little pigtail down here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Um, disconnect that and gotta take this kick panel off too, which just unsnaps from it, everything. Um, yeah, it's not a bad project. Um, into it a little more than what I wanted to be. And um, anyway, um, just waiting on a first coat of clear coat to dry on those areas I just pointed out and uh, should be able to get this new door hung. Hopefully it's going to line up better than that one does. And um, anyway, that's where I'm at right now with the project. I don't think I ever did show inside. Twin DVD players, um, remote, all that stuff's down here in the console. I did find the owner's manual. That was a huge plus right there. I was real happy about finding that. Um, obviously, I got a lot of interior parts and crap like that sitting around, but nice storage. Um, inside needs cleaned a little bit. Um, no complaints here. Third row seating, rear air, all that, all the goodies, power, power seats, power windows, of course, heated seats. Um, I'm anxious to get this thing where I can... Uh, Get the key turned on. I'm still looking for an airbag. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to buy one and try to paint it this, do the color match on uh, on this trim color. Um, but, and you know, other than that, this thing's not really hurt on the inside at all. I do have my concerns about the um, up there on the on the donut pad where the core support sits. That was jacked up a little bit, and uh, not horrible, but you know, got everything in place, but it's a little snug. So I don't know if I can run that down some more, try to bring that corner down a little bit. But as soon as I get this other door on, I'll be able to tell for sure. And part of the problem may be that uh, might be this Taiwan fender. I'm not sure. All in all, lines up pretty good. But the guy threw this in because the other one had damage. And uh, did the same thing with this. Um, put a little bit of black along the, the edges where everything meets up. That way, when I do take it to the shop, um, they don't have to worry about cutting in behind everything. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to update you sooner or later, hopefully sooner. Um, that bracket, that uh, fender extension bracket, I uh, really needed that. The guy's shipping it to me with some other parts that I got shorted on the front. So 
that's it for now. And I'm going to try to get this door on today. Maybe hang this loosely, hang the spinner, see how the new door lines up with it. All right, guys, have a good one. Good luck on your projects.